safe, cause these eyes ain't got nothing on them. I secure the safe for the cradle, I ain't dropping nothing. Uh. Only when it gets exception, ain't no truce. Uh. Ain't no dub, ain't no L on my crew. Ooh. Only when it gets exception on my crew. Yeah. Ain't no dub, ain't no L. I use a dub, I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay. Yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay. Start on the ground with Breda. Showtime, oh, he's baby. Daylight. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The that one 28 Two yards on the ground. On the tackle. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. The and I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. Fights through and now a crease. Good enough, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Preston Williams, his second. We drop you in now to first quarter action as the offense begins this drive. On play action, they'll throw. Man open, that's Chester Rogers. And they work this well up field across the 45. Complete to Chester. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Steps away. He'll run it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. First down, Dolphin. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Uh, Charles, uh, a peak there at the Dolphins draft class for 2020. Uh, a lot of guys here that will wind up contributors. But this draft is ultimately going to come down to one question. Was two of the right choice or not? Well, that's how the game's played, isn't it? And remember, we talked about Tua possibly going to Miami for about a year prior to it actually happening. And Justin Herbert, Jordan Love, two quarterbacks that were still on the board. Those are the guys. Look at Nothing this. Here. Middle of Nothing the field, here. a breakaway. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Matt Breida, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins add on to the... So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. First down, Miami. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Oh, he can't hang on. That was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick. But instead, it falls down incomplete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to it. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Josh Allen in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. And a sack there by Josh Allen, and sometimes we have to draw the distinction. Is it the Buffalo quarterback? 
or is it the Jacksonville sack artist, as we just saw there? Former first-round pick, huge impact in his rookie year in 2019. Ten and a half sacks and two. There he goes, right Woo! side. Give me some. Then all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Man. So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. And he'll run it. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Matt Breida. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. It's a good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Being chased out left. He can run for it, and he will. And shedding the tackle, and now some room. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. But Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. I well, think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right, because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense. And now, as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And this is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And that'll make it third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. It's the fullback. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Dolphins just continue to pour it on. As the game has evolved... So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. And some room to maneuver. He's at the 50. 30, That's all you got. Past the 20. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team... This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. He'll buy some time right. Man open right side. It's Rodgers. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. From the two now, second and goal. Flush to his right. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. 
Devontae Parker, his second touchdown on the season. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll roll him out right. And a scary incompletion almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. A gain of 10 brings up third. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He'll get this into the hands of Garita. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. 18 on the play. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Preston Williams. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And this offense continues to pour it on. You know, in golf, they often talk about playing the course. We are in the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. They'll begin the drive with Breda. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. At the 31-yard line. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. Don't worry about it, baby. I ain't worried about it. Let's go. An eligible receiver downfield. Offense. Can't walk out here, man. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Still second down. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Brito. Fights free yet again. Space to maneuver at the 40. As they finally wrangle him in at the 48. 23 yards the pick up there. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. On first down, here's Breda. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. Ronnie Tackle Harrison. that time by Ronnie Harrison. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Complete two, 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really take it at right down Broadway. 
And he almost made it, but just short. Finally out of bounds, right down around the goal line. It's a big play there for Miami. 41 yards on the ground. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They'll try to run with Breida, and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their total. Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. A handoff to Breida to begin the drive. Ooh, the juke. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They run again with Breida. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. The 20. And he is finally out of bounds, just shy of the five, all the way down at the six. A big play there for the Dolphins. 43 yards on the ground. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the eye. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's got room. Nothing there here. he goes Nothing left here. side. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Offense. Be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still first down. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. That one looks like he'll throw here. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Tonight's final score. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Dolphins, 
It's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 and now on the young season. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And, and they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in Cincinnati against the Bengals.